What up, what up, we build, what up, y'all, we, what it do, welcome back to the We Peel, y'all, welcome to you. If you're new, hey, welcome to you too. This is your girl right here, Lati, I'm a spiritual reader, a channel messenger, we're gonna jump into a meeting, a meeting, a reading, in <laughs> just a second, ha, we is gonna do one of them too, but we're on our lunch break, so we're gonna bring a message to you, so... If y'all into it, y'all want to stick around, you know, stick through it. Y'all know how it is. It can start off slow. Start off thick, like that old school Crisco. We had to get it out the can and put it in the pan. And the most high God, the Alpha and Omega, they come in and they put some heat on it. We get to cooking. We don't ever know what. We got some ingredients, just a few. You know what I mean? Give us a clue. But uh, they're going to bring the message onto self and onto you. I mean, it's going to be something that's edifying onto the spirit because we got these yokes on our shoulder and we got to bear it. And we be needing that spiritual strength so that we can carry it. Mm -hmm. Lip gloss. Had to get it. Mm. Thank y'all so much for coming back. Thank you for your love and support for everybody that watched last night's episode. It was two hours. It was spiritually loaded, yo. For those who are open and willing to question our existence, the matrix, what has been fed to us, Ashe. So if you are somebody that could go down that rabbit hole and kind of allow us to unpack, release some of the things that have been put on us and receive something new, unlearning and relearning and all of that good stuff. Maybe it's something in it for you. I don't know, beloved, but we shared it and we are so grateful for all of those who received it. Great reception, your comments, your feedback. Thank you. And I have bought some more books because of it. I mean, somebody left me a wonderful comment kind of going down and talking about one of the studies that we actually studied and we have put that on a community page some months back. I mean, you got to watch the reading and look at the comments to kind of see what I'm talking about. I don't want to give it all away. We don't. We want you to go listen to the reading again if you're able to go down the rabbit hole and question the matrix we live in. Ashe, Ashe. Uh, we got some cards. Thank you to the Alpha and Omega for bringing this message. I feel the grease heating up. I do. I do. Hey. Ooh, do y'all feel it? Because I do. I feel it. Mm-hmm. I feel it. Hey, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Oh, let's get in my week. Let's get it. Hey, get in my week. Let's get it. Oh, get in my week. Let's get it. Hey, oh, hey, oh, yes. Let's get fired up. I feel it. I feel impregnated, fertile, and ready to give birth like it's in gestation. I feel that purpose is growing. It's going to burst out. But y'all know when you got, you know, you're carrying that weight. You need that strength. You need that nourishment. We need that hydration. Making healthy choices. Yes, beloved. Healthy choices. Yes. Wisdom, healthy choices. We feel wisdom. We're talking about the word. We're talking about the principal thing. Move on a breath of life, the dynamic duo. I mean, without that, we can't do a fuck shit thing. I'm just saying. Come on, y'all. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love wisdom. And we were just talking about buying more books. We were talking about the spiritually loaded message we left last night how people were leaving comments about what they have studied what they have learned and sharing all of that information <sighs> thank you to the most high god who has sent his word forward that has put it in us that has written it in and on everything Everything in existence. The word is baked in. It's coded, beloved. Your spirit will resonate. And I'm talking about as we are animated in this God body, the word is moving. It is alive. We, woo, let's get it. I had to, I'm about to I'm excited to throw it on the, <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on. Wisdom is the fundamental gift that the journey of life offers. Every day is a new opportunity to learn something new about ourselves or about life in general. From our experiences, both positive and negative, from our thoughts and interactions, from our successes and our mistakes. 
that second one, the mistakes, beloved, I say, okay, we can develop wisdom and use it to enrich our lives and to impact the world to the best of our abilities. You want something else in here? I'm just going to put that down because that's what they said to do. This is a new set of cards we just got. It is called, I think it says the happier me because we left the box over there. We Anyway, we did dedicate them to the most high God, but we do need to cleanse the energy. We have a card on top that I feel like we're going to read anyway, beloved, this one. We're going to use the sage, most high God say. We're going to put some sage on it. Okay, this is about getting done. We about need to get another one, but it's still useful. You know what I'm saying? We still, as long as we don't set ourselves on fire. Oh, we on fire. Thank you to the Most High God for this offering, for these gifts. Please cleanse the energy. Release it anything, any former previous attachments. Yes, thank you. Ready for use. Mm-hmm. Cleanse us. Cleanse this one too. We got whiskey tea. That's another new deck we got. Releasing the energy, any former attachments. Yes. Make them ready for use. Thank you so much to the most high God who provides all things. These tools belong on to you, made by you, by your creation, for you to speak through. Woo. Just give everything a nice little cleanse. Any and everything that's attached, release it. Refresh the energy, beloved. Thank you. Mm. Feel that energy on the heart. Release release from any sadness, any grief, any heaviness, anything that would be pulling on thee. Let it go. Let the smoke, let it dissipate. Fly off. Let the Most High God cleanse us. That energy. Releasing anything that would, again, that would be coming against thee. That would stop you from seeing anything clearly. Giving you any confusion. Right, um, to delude you, illusions. We did see this energy, challenges, our blessings in disguise. And we kind of been reading that energy. Challenges are blessings in disguise and you will always find within yourself um, all the necessary resources to face them. You are capable of doing anything you set your mind to. I cherish and nurture the wisdom that life provides me. I will never stop learning and improving. And I'm feeling the energy that challenges are the best way to learn. We Like we face challenges so that we can learn, so that we can become better, beloved. 824. You experience what you choose to direct your attention towards. If you want to experience more love, concentrate on loving yourself first. That's beautiful. Life is full of love, and I find it everywhere I go. Can y'all see that? Yes. Anything else? Think of a situation where you showed strength. How did you feel? How did you recover? Acknowledge that every situation you surpass only makes you stronger and more resilient. It gives you wisdom, beloved, intellect. I nurture, I cherish and nurture the wisdom that life provides me. Providing you wisdom through the challenges. They are blessings in disguise. We. It says, I will never stop learning and improving. And not acknowledge that every situation you surpass as you overcome only makes you stronger and more resilient. Giving you perseverance. Giving you tenacity. Flexibility. So true, beloved week. No more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. The time is now. What excuses am I making right now? What are the excuses? Want something else? 
If it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Yeah, you will find a way. You will find the strength. You will find the ability to uh, look within and, and figure out the resources. Like the solution is there. You have the wisdom, the intellect already baked in to overcome any situation that you're facing. 10, 18. No more waiting. There'll never be a, a good enough time. The time is now. If it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Today, make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart and you will be led. Turn down something. Distractions. Something. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? Get clear. It say, take out the shoulds and the limitations. Get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. It says, if you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all of your heart. Ask yourself, what is it that your soul really wants? What does your heart really crave? Then take one step in that direction, Ashe. No more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. If it's important enough to you, you will find a way to make a decision and do it. Even if you don't feel ready, listen to your heart and you will be led. Wherever you go, go with all of your heart. And I think that that's beautiful. Yes. I feel like the wisdom that you need, you experience what you choose to direct your attention towards, right? If you direct your attention and focus on what it is that the Most High God is calling you to do, what your soul is calling you to do, the source of us living, what is it saying onto you? Where is it leading you? What desire has it placed in you? And know that the wisdom, the intellect, the resources, um, every provision, the ability to solution, you know, every challenge is within you. It is. It's within you, We Maybe you need to clear out some distractions. Maybe you need to clear away some energy, something that is holding you back from your highest self or from your belief. Creator of happiness. You create your own happiness. You can. Creating a happier me. I reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness. It is not dependent on any outside source or individual. Therefore, it cannot be taken away. It can always be found within me. Again, that wisdom, that intellect, the everything that you need can be found within the source of us living, your soul. It makes every provision, every provision. And as long as you be animated, this God body has the spirit of the most high God in it, then you are able to walk forward and create your own happiness. Anything else in here, beloved? Say no. Something about your morning rituals. Meditate more in the morning. Pray in the morning. You know, ask your spiritual team to come in to help you. You know, you have a whole team, the spirit of wisdom. The intellect, you know, your spirit of protection, the breath, you know, the spirit of the Most High God that animates you, giving thankfulness and joy and gratitude, having joy and gratitude and giving thanks for being animated to face the day, knowing that no matter what you face, the wisdom of this unknown, the Most High God is already aware that intelligence is within you. It can help you get through it. It can face help you face the challenges so that you can learn through it. You can unlearn something and maybe relearn something new. Wisdom. There's a question, another question. I'm seeing this hidden message. I just feel like each day has a hidden message. What is, when is it not okay to be completely honest? I feel like somebody is not being honest with themselves and why they are not moving. Like maybe I'm hearing fear. What in your life are you most excited about right now? Maybe it's something that you're excited about that you don't want to admit that you're excited about. You know, maybe success scares you. 
Have you ever faced a challenge that gives you a sense of exhilaration, right? But you don't want to admit the fact that this challenge that you're going through is providing some sort of edification onto you. Like you, maybe you're a person, you know, that uh, out here likes something odd, something different. You know what I mean? Maybe it's something that you don't want to admit that you like i'm feeling this thing it's called it's a book called existential stitch right it is like us facing our shadow selves something in your shadow that is like you like it it's, it could be kind of kinky it could be kind of taboo it could be something that's like off the beaten path something that you don't really want to be honest about boo just saying you know, it's sometimes we have those things that we like. You know, you might be like, mm, that look kind of interesting. I wonder. Just saying. Hidden message. Take it for what it's worth. However, it resonates. We ain't calling nothing I say. To the next now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Most high guys say we might talk about it on the later now. We might, but not right now. That was enough. Just to pique your interest, make you think about it a bit. See the bigger picture. Is there something to see in it? You know? Because, see, somebody had to come up with some of these things that we uh, delight in that might be a little bit taboo, but they damn sure useful. I'm just saying, somebody had to create it. Somebody had to say, I think that shit is kind of interesting, kind of sexy, I say. And I'm a little bit, you know, nervous about admitting that I like it, but it damn sure do something to my sensuality. Like, I might want to experience it, sense it a bit. I don't know. Anyway, zealous. See, it could give you a uh, light body <laughs> There's purpose in all things, beloved. It's purpose. <laughs> Overflow. <laughs> y'all, I'm getting a whole different look. <laughs> I don't know what y'all know on this lunchtime break type of energy, but uh, somebody... <laughs> Somebody, uh, somebody thinking about creating their own happiness. <laughs> Beloved Plentitude, they ain't getting enough of it. <laughs> it's in reverse. <laughs> Just saying. Woo! You are a divine healer, right? And I feel like what you have to offer is death is healing. <laughs> Sexual healing. I just heard <laughs> Marvin Gaye, girl. <laughs> Y'all, what's the tea? Let's see. There's some tea in this for real. <laughs> what is the tea? The most I got say something on this lunchtime break. Somebody might have stopped. Um, we ain't going to talk about it. We ain't going to get into it. What's the tea, beloved? What's the tea? Move in silence. Mm. Somebody moving in silence. Somebody, I see, it's colorful. It's definite. See, somebody moving in silence. They, they, it, see. It, it, see, they, mm. Forces things, yeah, yeah, mm. Do you want to read that? See, existential stitch. I'm feeling like something forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want, having a bad reputation. Mm. See, I feel like there's a time. Look, this don't, don't look. This is not, this is not that. This is not that. This is not. This is not essay. This is not none of that. You know what I'm saying? This is this this is people in different spaces, consensual 
but at the same time, it is not the usual. And y'all know what I'm talking about because somebody had to think about it. Like I said, existential stitch is that existential kink, okay? And it's like, is it... Yeah. See, somebody might want to do something that's a little bit differently different. Ooh, maybe seeing somebody synced it and talking ish about it. I don't know. Maybe you feel like somebody gonna find out and talk shit about it and you concerned that uh, it could affect your reputation. It could affect something else. We see all kind of energy. Most I God. See, to somebody that was broke, somebody that's clout hungry, we seeing all kind of stuff. I don't know what the hell this is. This shit just took a whole kinky twist, like for real. And I'm feel love on the brain. See, somebody thinking about something differently different. Did see, look, y'all might have had a kinky ass relationship. And somebody might be feeling like you can't really do that, like it ain't right, or somebody is something or something or something, or maybe you feel like folks will feel like that. Um, yeah, ain't shit is here. I don't know. It's something weird going on with this energy. It really is, yo. And I'm feeling like, you know, it's a whole bunch of mix and mix and mix. We might end up leaving this out. Nope. I don't know. We're going to see what the most high guys say about it. Because, help me, spirit, because I feel like this shit is all over the place. I'm feeling like, first of all, y'all was into some kinky shit. First of all, when I said we don't want to set us on fire, right? That right there, hold, that's my spirit. That's that clear audience, right? I can hear uh, Cletus. What's his wife's name? I can't remember her name from the clumps. You know, that's, I think, part two, because they wasn't really getting it in because, you know, Cletus was going through some things. You know what I mean? He had to get stuff together. He took the potion. Shit, you know, he got young and effervescent. That zeal, that zest was back. He was feeling overzealous. He was overflowing with passion. Homegirl was overflowing, too. She was like, Cletus, I'm on fire. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was feeling. 22, 24, something going on, yo. I'm just saying, you know, somebody got a kink and it's different. And whatever it is, this person might have a bad reputation. They could be into something where it's like, you know, differently different, you know? So, I don't know. But whatever it is, I feel like somebody thinking about it, they reminiscing about how y'all used to get it in and how it touched a whole different part of their sensuality, something that they don't want to talk about, something that they don't talk about, something that they don't really want to admit to other people because folks might look at them in a certain kind of way. But if you're in a safe environment, you with another consenting adult, beloved, do you? I mean, because shit, 50 shades of gray ain't a thing for nothing. Because that's what I'm feeling right here. This is some whole 50 shades of gray type shit. This is some... some uh, I'm here in Red Room. I'm seeing a Red Room. I'm seeing lights. I'm seeing all kind of shit. I'm seeing fucking shit hanging from a ceiling. I, uh, Pops. Well, no, no, not, uh, not Pops. What's his name? Uh, Friday. What's uncle name with, with him and his uh girlfriend sugar uh sweets whatever the fuck her name was uh I give my tea sugar some sugar y'all know who I'm talking about uncle was up in there y'all seen that guy that what he they had in that room that's what I'm feeling okay somebody to just pounce on you type shit. You wasn't expecting it. Oh, caught me off guard. I'm on fire. I'm just, I look, 2420. I can't make it up. Somebody doing some shit is all played out. They thought, no, it's not. Uh-uh. Running a race. I don't know what this is, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm feeling Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm feeling Red Room. I'm feeling shit hanging from the ceiling. I'm feeling like somebody... Might even invent something. I don't know. 
Ooh. See, somebody into some kinky shit, and I don't feel like this is bad. I feel like you like somebody to come in and just take it. I'm just saying, like somebody you know can send you in y'all role play. That's what I'm feeling, role playing. Yes, like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody like to role play. I'm talking about some serious ass shit. I say like I create my own happiness. We doing some role playing fantasy. <laughs> Red room <laughs> drama. <laughs> it's some shit going on in here. Dirt digging, looking for dirt. See, I feel like somebody want to keep what they do on the low because other people or somebody might get a hold to it. Somebody that might be in your business and put it out and you might be afraid that they may talk about what you do in a bedroom in a consenting situation, like what pleases you specifically. And if that's what pleases you, it floats your boat. Can't nobody tell you how to, you know, express your sensuality, yo. It should be a safe place for all things such as that. And it is. And that's why people have rooms such as that. That's why we have books like that. Fifty Shades of Grey didn't hit the way that it hit. And that was a housewife that was at home and wrote them damn three books. And look what it look what happened. You could have a whole project or something in you, some sort of book, some sort of something based on how you like to move. Like, shit, and if somebody did that, because I could think about that and that shit sound like it was just her, you know, or maybe that's just what you and your boo do. You know what I mean? You and somebody else and y'all move in silence because y'all don't really want nobody to know what you're into. I feel like it's something in that. I feel like you ain't the only one, beloved, you not. Because a uh, homegirl that, that wrote them books, Fifty Shades of Grey, you know, she had to be sitting up there. I mean, she wrote that shit, Christian Grey, and Anna, or uh, Alice, or uh, whatever the hell her name was. Somebody thought of that shit. And it's a whole bunch of other folks that was into it. An uh, existential kink, okay? That shadow energy, that's part of your sensuality that you don't want to acknowledge. Moving in silence and trying to keep it on the hush or not, you know what I'm saying? Embrace it. Because you never know what it's going to do when you're doing it in a safe environment and it's consensual. You ain't got to be embarrassed thinking that somebody going to come in and start drama and all of this shit and, and, and put your business out in the street and now you embarrassed. Shit fuck around and turn around and be the next hit. I'm just saying. Because if we ain't got these adult stoves and toys and trinkets for nothing. I'm just saying. I'm out of here. This was a little uh, a little lunchtime something. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go, y'all. I do. I do. I gotta go. But uh, Spirit said we gonna get one more card because there's something in here. Is it in here? I know I got to slow down. <laughs> I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Look, protect it. You protect it. Your work is protected. I'm telling you, you might be confused on how you going to do it, but whatever it is that you going to create, beloved, I'm saying you going to make some shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm gone. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to the Alpha and Omega for bringing this message to encourage somebody in the we feel beloved that you might have something that's a little bit differently different. You hearing something that tell you something, you feel something that's a little bit different. You into something that's a little bit kinky, a little bit taboo beloved, and that's okay because it's a whole bunch of the other folks that is too. If they wasn't, then Fifty Shades of Grey wouldn't be over on my shelf. I'm just saying. To the next now, I love you. This is your girl, Lottie, here at Terrence We Throw Show. When you show us, never know what you're going to get. You never know. Existential kink. Because somebody into some kinky shit and they're going to make something out of their fantasies and stuff, beloved. Y'all know what it is. To the next now, I'll show you.